Samsung has been continuously advancing VRAN technologies and we have gone through several generations of our VRAN. Uh, this includes disaggregating the central unit and distributed unit and turning both of them into 100% software. Our fully virtualized CU and DU run on commercial servers and enable flexible and scalable network configurations. We have also integrated our solution with a complete radio portfolio including massive MIMO radios and indoor solutions. Although many people doubted whether VRAN can really replace traditional hardware-based VRAN, we have already provided our VRAN to global operators for mass commercial deployments. And this year, we have introduced our next generation VRAN or VRAN 3.0. Our ultimate goal with this new launch is to maximize performance, enhance software capabilities, and improve energy efficiencies of our VRAN solution. To start off with VRAN 3.0, we can deploy multiple generations of technologies through a common platform. In fact, this year we will commercialize 5G, 4G, and 2G through a single VDU. We are also planning to introduce new CPUs and accelerators that will greatly boost the capacity of our VDUs. Furthermore, we are also improving energy efficiencies of our, our VRAN solution for a greener, more sustainable network. For example, we can reduce power consumption by controlling the CPU core states. Samsung's VRAN also facilitates our energy saving manager which enables multiple energy saving features in one single platform. Leveraging the benefits of virtualization with VRAN 3.0, uh, operators can flexibly configure and scale their networks according to real-time traffic to optimize resource utilization. Going further, we've combined our end-to-end -end automation and orchestration into a single automation solution so that the entire life cycle of our VRAN, including infra provisioning, network function deployments, network operation and optimization can be effectively and automatically managed with minimum human interventions.